With the clear victory of the conservatism by Boris Johnson, our assumption is now indeed that the withdrawal agreement will be ratified by the end of January. And by saying that, if I look around in this hemicycle and I look at our very brave Remain MEPs, I can only say, I'm sorry, we will miss you. We will miss you. Thank you for your courage. Thank you for having been at our side. We'll never miss those who scream and yell. And now, now, thanks God, without you, we are constructing our future partnership to the UK. Our new relationship should be as close as possible for the sake of our businesses, for the sake of our students, and of so many Europeans who stretch their lives across the channel. This relationship will be clearly different from today's. The UK will be a third country. In case we cannot conclude an agreement by the end of 2020, we will face again a cliff-edge situation. And this would clearly harm our interests, but it will impact more the UK than us, as the European Union will continue benefiting from its single market, its customs union, and the 1,700 international agreements we signed with our partners. But it is clearly not in our interest. We will organize these negotiations um, to make the most out of the short period. On February 1st, we will be ready to propose a mandate for the negotiations. The United Kingdom indeed will become a third country, but at the very end, I hope, for the sake of the European people and the sake of the British people, that we will have an unprecedented partnership. This is not the end of something. It is the beginning of new relations between neighbors, and I want us to become good neighbors with our friends in the United Kingdom. Long live Europe.